Today, we're gonna look at my Blackwater Beta Fish tank. Don't go anywhere. What's up YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? How's it going out there in fish tank land? This is Joseph Harden from JH Aquatics and I'm here to share with you all my fish keeping adventures, knowledge, and more. Now today, we're looking at my Blackwater Beta Fish tank. Well, fish fam, I'm really excited that I had the opportunity to take this beta fish from this vase with these uh, glass pebbles to um, a true black water um, biotope with um, you know the proper pH and uh, the proper flow and everything like that and the proper food. I will have to be honest, I am truly, really falling in love with beta fish very quickly. Um, just from the way that they breed in the biotope, I've always been in love with black water biotopes and brackish water biotopes. And so this uh, beta fish rescue has really given me the opportunity to explore these biotopes and, uh, and have more tanks like them. I first treated the tank with um, a little bit of black water extract, not a lot of it because I prefer to use the natural tannins from, uh, from real dried botanicals but I put a dash of this, and I also put a little dash of marine salt, um, not aquarium salt. I prefer marine salt because it does not contain copper, uh, and it contains a lot of other trace minerals that I like to have in the water. So I just use a little dash of that as well. And then I went on to add a few different dried botanicals, which I um, really like to use. The first one I added was Terminalia catapa, or the West Indian almond leaf. I also added Paminta rasmosa, which is the West Indian bay leaf, which also has a lot of antibacterial properties. Then I also added a few Lauris nobilis, which is the Italian bay leaf, or the uh, sweet bay leaf. And I just added a few of those because um, I wanted to see how they do. When it comes to food, right now I've been feeding him krill, but I really want to start feeding him live mosquito larvae. Um, I really believe that that's the best way to go and me living here in the tropics I can raise them outside very easily. I've been studying the process and I'm just starting. I'm gonna do a few practice runs before I make a video about it but um, I plan on rearing uh, mosquito larvae to feed this beta fish and um, yeah as hooked and addicted as I am already I'm ready to get a couple other beta fish and maybe even start a breeding program with them um, because I really enjoy black water aquariums and um, I think this would be a way for me to uh, enjoy more of those tanks like I said before I really am falling in love with beta fish I'm really happy with this fish as well and I know all of y'all been waiting to know what his official name is uh, this beta fish's official name is Beetlejuice. Uh, after much deliberation, uh, we've decided on Beetlejuice. So there you go, everybody. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you all to all of you that are subscribed to me. Uh, if you're not, go ahead and click on that subscribe button down below. Don't forget to like, comment, and share. And remember, guys, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.